My name is Gary and I'm from organicweb.com.au. I'm a MailChimp partner and if you need MailChimp training or consulting, contact me. Today, I'm going to go through how we can use a MailChimp survey to get new leads or new customers. What we'll then do is we'll create an automatic welcome email for those people that sign up from your survey. Surveys can be a great way to get new customers. Let's go into MailChimp, but just to say that I'm going to go fairly quickly through this. You can always watch the video again. So, I'm in MailChimp itself, as you can see. What I'm going to do is first create my survey. So, to create a survey in MailChimp, we go Create, and then Survey. We select our audience. In other words, when people enter their email address, to which audience should those people be added? I'll click Begin. Let's start building the survey as MailChimp says. So we add questions. The first thing we do is go to the Design tab to design our survey. In Branding, we can include our logo. We could add a description. Australian spelling in this case, but you could, of course, do any spelling you, you wish. Uh, we could add some custom messages, such as changing the submit button to send, for example, and various other things. We could even change the button color and so on. But back to our questions. Let's add a question. And we can ask various types of questions. Now, in this case, I'll just ask two questions, one of them being maybe what is their favorite flavor of ice cream, for example. And secondly, I want the email address so that I can get that person as a lead. So I'll click email to add an email uh, field onto my survey. What would we like to ask? Okay, your email, or well, you can type whatever you want. And this is quite important. You want to make this required so that people have to fill in their, their email address. Also, this is really critical if you want to get new, new customers you can communicate with via email specifically. You need to ask people if they want to subscribe. So we'll enable ask to subscribe. And we could change the subscribe me to your newsletter to anything you'd like to. What happens here then is that when a person enters their email address, if they check this subscribe me to your newsletter, they will be added as subscribed to your audience in MailChimp. In other words, you will be able to send them email marketing thereafter. Let's add one more question. I'll click add a question and let's do this. Let's add radio buttons. And we could ask a question. Um, my favorite flavor is, and let's put here chocolate. Let's put a second option. I'll just click enter. Let's put a, well, uh, let's say a strawberry um, and so on. We could add more, but this is just an example. We could make this required if we want to, and we could add an other option. But for now, I'll just leave it as it is. Just pretend this is our survey. Uh, one thing I forgot to do was to actually name my survey, and I'll call it in this case, uh, fave flavor. For example, it could be anything that makes sense. I'll click save and close. Now, my survey isn't live as it were, so people can't go as yet and answer the question or, or, or fill their details. So what I need to do is turn on my survey. So I'm gonna click turn on, and this means make it live on the web. Now, let me be clear. A survey in MailChimp, when we create a survey, it's almost like a landing page in some ways. It's hosted on a unique URL on the web. So it's not something that's embedded in an email, it's actually hosted on a URL on the web, and we can share that URL on Facebook, on Twitter, we could advertise that URL, we could send it to our existing customers or subscribers via email and so on. So, uh, just to show you, I'm just going to copy the survey URL, and I'll just open it in a new tab, 
just to see what our survey looks like. Okay, it's very basic, but that's absolutely fine. So we're asking people for their email address and so on. What we could also do with our survey is share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, and we can even share it by email. But for now, let's just say we've sent out our survey um, to our subscribers and so on via email or advertised it, whatever. So they come to the survey URL and let's just enter in a subscriber here, for example. So um, OK, and I'll click subscribe me to your newsletter because I want to show you what happens in our audience uh, when this person subscribes. And let's just say my favorite uh, flavor is chocolate. I'll click send. OK, so now let me go into my audience and just show, show you what happens now that this person has submitted the survey. I'll go back into MailChimp and let me just go to my audience. And I'll just view my contacts. And I'm expecting to see that Gary plus 109 or whatever it was. So there, as we can see, is my Gary plus 109, the person that's just uh, uh, filled uh, my survey. And if I go along, you'll see under email marketing column that this person is subscribed. So we can send email marketing to this person. And the source was survey. So this is important, source survey, because maybe I want to set up a follow-up email or an email to send immediately as this person uh, fills my survey saying, hey, thanks for filling the survey. Here's a discount coupon or did you know we sell this or that or whatever, because this is a new lead. This is this is a great new lead. And the best time to contact this lead is, well, as soon as they filled in the survey. So what I'm going to do is very quickly create a welcome email so that whenever someone, a new subscriber, um, fills in the survey, sends the survey, uh, they'll get a follow-up email. So I'm looking here for source is survey. So that's going to be my segment because those are the people that have just signed up on my survey. So let me create my welcome email. I'm going to go automate email. I'm going to create a welcome new subscribers. The single email won't work for me. I'll need to create an onboarding series because I actually want to target only those people that signed up from the survey and I just know that I can't do that on the single email so you will need a paid account in MailChimp to be able to do this so I'm going to click onboarding series I can call it whatever I want uh, let's call it fave flavor I don't know survey whatever that's okay I'll select the audience that my people on my survey are signing up to which is Gary's ice cream in this case I'll click begin so let's build this email that will go out as people complete that survey. We'll just wait for that to load up. We start at the top, go down. Um, in this case, I'm just going to send one email because this is just a demo. So I'll just very quickly delete all these extra emails because I don't want them to go out. Um, I'll just type in delete very quickly. I'll just copy that to, to speed it up a little bit. Click delete. So let's get rid of that last email. Okay, there we go, and we'll just get rid of these extra emails, delete email, paste, delete in, and delete again. Let's get rid of all these extra ones, so we've just got one, delete, delete, okay, I'll paste that in there. Right, so we've got our one email, um, so the, the important thing here is, so, trigger this immediately after sub after subscribe contacts join my audience but remember I want it only where the uh, the source field is survey so I'd go in here filter by segment or tag click add and build my criteria here build my segment here so choose segment or tag and contacts match the following conditions so only send this where contact match and remember what I was looking for is where the sign up source was survey and which survey favorite flavor survey so this means that because I'm adding this uh, segment only people that uh, uh, signed up to my audience using uh, the survey of favorite flavor will be sent this follow-up email so I'll save that segment 
Now, what I would do is design my email and uh, enable my automation workflow, and there we go. So what we've done is we created a survey, we added an email field onto it where people can subscribe. Then we created an automated email saying, as soon as someone subscribes to our audience, but only where they subscribed using that specific survey, send them this follow-up email. And that's how simple it is. You've got a new customer and you followed up with them. And this automation will then just run. The survey will just run. You publicize your survey and it'll just go. I'm Gary from organicweb.com.au. Thank you for joining me.